Well, you know, you'd never imagine that you would be the mom with three kids that are not only running from Jesus, from the faith that you raised them and desired them to have in their life personally, but to be watching them entangled in addiction, uh, drugs and alcohol, uh, the party scene, just really um, not making just bad character choices, but you know that this is destructive for their life. And you feel, of course, that you must be the worst parent in the world. And that's, I think, where I found myself and my husband together, feeling very overwhelmed, uh, feeling that perhaps the way we had raised our kids, I mean, surely we we didn't do the right things. Um, we wanted our kids more than anything to love God, to follow Him and to serve Him. And all three of them, at within a span of seven years, were running from God, lost in addiction, uh, trapped in bondage of, um, you know, alcohol, drugs, the party scene, and just even tormented in their own lives with some of the choices that they were making. It was devastating. Um, what does a parent do? Uh, what do you do when you're a person of faith? You want you you really want your kids to follow God. We found ourselves in many ways coming to the end of ourself, to, under, to realizing that this wasn't actually all about us, and uh, whether we were the best parents in the world or the worst parents in the world. But in fact, we needed to completely surrender ourselves as parents and as a mom. I needed to give up my own agenda and ask Jesus to intervene. We don't have an overnight story. It was years of running. But I can tell you when Jesus intervenes, when he goes and rescues somebody, he does do miraculous things. He can take addicts. He can take the rebels. And he changes their heart and he transforms their life. And we give him the praise and the glory. We don't take the credit for what God has done in our family. But we did have to choose to stand strong meaning to trust God in a difficult time in our life and to continue trusting God. You know, whether you're in the, the, the better season or the dark season, it's a journey of trusting God that we need to remain strong in our faith in God. And, and even when we don't see it all worked out or whatever that means, my husband and I found joy right in the middle of, of the mess. It wasn't when it was all worked out, actually. It was in the middle of the mess we learned to find joy. And, and it was through our trust in God. He gave us a joy and a knowing that he was gonna be the one that was gonna go get our kids.